Thanksgiving here at home. Let's not forget the men and women who are serving overseas, including Ashwaubenon's 432nd Civil Affairs Battalion. Unit members are stationed in various spots in Afghanistan. John Mino of WIXX Radio is checking up on the troops. He is from the UP and found one soldier from his hometown of Nagani, Michigan. So, Juki, how are you liking it over here? Uh, I'm enjoying it, especially the weather. Yeah. It's been warm. Uh, summer was a little bit rough. Yeah. 120 degrees and everything. But other than that, it's been pretty good. I've been able to play some sports and you know, watch football games, especially the Packers. That's what I'm That's pretty what cool, I'm isn't it? This year. Yeah. That's awesome, man. You guys really stick together with 432nd, don't you? All yes. the Wisconsin troops. Yes, we do. We're definitely a family. That's neat. And again, you were one of the guys, when I was talking with Specialist Voss over there, you were one of the guys last night when I pulled out from my bag a bag of fresh cheese curds. You literally, you literally jumped out of your chair. Yes, I did. I, <laughs> I mean, we haven't had anything like that for I mean, the whole time we were here. So getting some cheese curds, especially when I'm at home, that's what I like to go to the store and buy. So it's, it's definitely great to see some cheese. <laughs> People back in Wisconsin, you don't appreciate the cheese curd like the folks in Afghanistan. So you've been here. You've been here. So you've been here. Eat them, enjoy them, savor them, and keep these guys in mind. When you go home for Christmas, we're going to have to fill your belly with those babies. <laughs> yes. huh? I'll definitely take some. Yes, I'll take as many as I can get. Absolutely. Private Jukovic. By the way, when John returns, he'll be putting together a series of reports about the 432nd for Fox 11 and WIXX Radio. And we want to thank John, WIXX, and the men and women of the 432nd for making these reports available. And stick around, because in about five minutes, we'll be talking live with John. He's in Afghanistan on this Thanksgiving morning, and we'll sh he will share more of his experiences with the troops.